will study about the process of glycolysis. Glycolysis is made up of two words, glyco representing glucose and lysis which means breakdown. Glycolysis is a metabolic process that involves systemic breakdown of glucose to produce energy and the process takes place inside the cytosol of the cell. In glycolysis, one molecule of glucose, which is a 6 carbon compound, is converted into two molecules of pyruvate, which is a 3 carbon compound. In this conversion, energy is released in the form of ATP and NADH. Pyruvate formed here is utilized further in different energy pathways, producing more energy. The process takes place in two phases. In the first phase, glucose is converted into two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. First phase actually uses energy instead of making it. In the second phase, glucose glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is converted into two molecules of pyruvate and this step produces energy in the form of ATP. It all begins with the molecule of glucose. The molecule enters the cytosol and the first reaction conversion of glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. The enzyme hexokinase is involved in the step and phosphate from ATP is transferred to glucose making glucose 6-phosphate. Next, glucose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 6-phosphate. By the enzyme isomerase, this is a simple rearrangement process. Third step involves conversion of fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. This is an addition of another phosphate which means utilization of another ATP molecule. Enzyme is phosphofructokinase. In the next step, glucose 1,6-bisphosphate is split in two molecules, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Both are three carbon compounds and the enzyme is aldolase. A fifth step happens which converts dihydroxyacetone phosphate in glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. As of this point, two molecules have been generated, so all the step will happen twice. But for the sake of this video, we will focus on the single molecule of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So reaction of two phases happens twice and produce two products. In the next reaction, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is converted into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate enzyme that the process is called glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme is used. In this step, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is converted into an ADH. Then 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate is converted into 3-phosphoglycerate by the enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase. One ATP molecule is generated in this process. 3-phosphoglycerate is converted into 2-phosphoglycerate by the help of the enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase. This is a simple regeneration rearrangement process. Next, 2-phosphoglycerate is converted into phosphoenol pyruvate by the enzyme enolase. Finally, phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvate by the enzyme pyruvate kinase. Molecule of ADP is converted into ATP in this step. With this step, the second phase of glycolysis ends. As you can see, energy is produced in the second phase of glycolysis. Now, let us have a quick overview of the energetics of glycolysis. Two ATPs were utilized in the first phase of glycolysis in step 1 and 3. Four ATPs are produced in the second phase at step 7 and 10, which gives us the net 2 ATP. Two NADP H molecules are produced in the second phase which will later give 6 ATPs because each NADH will make 3 ATPs in the electron transport chain. So 2 ATP plus 6 ATP gives us 8 ATPs of glycolysis. Now if you like the video make sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel for future updates.